I just bought the most expensive V-twin chopper motorcycle from Amazon, and within a week of me buying it, it shows up in front of my shop. I know what you're thinking. Yes, it is an awful, awful idea. Before I tell you guys exactly how much it costs, I want to get this box open. And throughout this video, I'm going to tell you guys a bunch of reasons why most likely you probably should not be buying this bike. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. But I got one reason why you should buy this bike. And since this is Tennessee, you know, this is actually my first motorcycle unboxing in the great state of Tennessee. Much greater than Pennsylvania, by the way. Oh! Do I open the box with a knife? No, no, this is Tennessee. Old habits die hard. However, I am learning that actually, all these unboxing videos that I've done and I just tore the box up, these boxes just lift off. Which means we're gonna get to see this thing sooner than I thought. I'm pretty sure it's one of the few products that you can't take back. Unlike saying awful things to your brother, or your coworkers, which you can take back. No, you cannot take back this bike. So once you buy it, it's yours. Now, I don't think this box does come up. Now, I don't know what year this bike is because I don't think they've ever sold any of these. We look on the side, it doesn't say anything about the year. There's no model number. They used to try to tell you that this thing was made in China. China. Put together in Texas. Don't mess with Texas. I don't think any of that was true. Let's, let's do it. You gotta admit, that's, that's kind of cool looking. That's kind of a cool looking bike. Look, it's got a big old, big old like 70s chopper, sissy bar. I may have spoke too soon. Maybe this is a great deal. Observation number one. Let's just tape the battery. Use half a roll of tape and tape the battery up here. I don't know, why wouldn't you just put the battery down there? Why won't you just zip tie it right down there? Ooh, this might give us a good idea of how old this bike is. If we figure out what, how old the battery is. Who wants a guess? Throw a guess down there, I'm thinking 2018. Now batteries are supposed to, well, they're supposed to say what date they're made. But maybe that's only in America. I think we gotta fill this battery. We gotta charge it, we gotta do something with it. Let's pull it over here. We get to get acid on our fingers eventually in our eyeballs. Rule number one, kids, keep acid out of your eyeballs. You just... So while that's doing its thing, you guys might not remember, but about a year ago, I unboxed another bike from this same company. People call it the bubble bike. Not that many people saw the video. You may have never seen it. A quick update on it. We did end up getting the exhaust. I had to talk to multiple people. It wasn't until the video came out and then they got a lot of views that they finally contacted me and they're like, oh, we'll get you the exhaust and the exhaust came in maybe a month later. But I still don't think I ever received the, t the title for that thing. So I have no idea what year that thing is. It also just, more things about that look just like fake functional, like not, it's not functional. That looks significantly more functional in my opinion. So I'm pretty excited about busting getting that thing out. Look, is that, is that a brake light? Look, 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 they put a brake light on top of the sissy bar. That's actually where the, uh, that, that's where they want you to mount the, um, the license plate. Honestly, I think this stuff that's coming in from China is just bypassing all the laws. Actually, I found out, someone, someone told me later that the, the same engine, in, the, the same engine in that bike is actually a, a clone of the, two, of the Yamaha 250 Virago motor. So I think that's somehow how they're getting past the EPA of getting these bikes in here. But the other, uh, the other stuff of regulations of lights and everything, I think they're just pushing it in here and no one's, no one's calling them on it. Uh, 
to charge up. I think it's funny how they put this thing. Actually, um, this is not unusual. We've unboxed other bikes. They all tend to have this. It's like a vapor barrier, and you know, when mice get in there, it's a nice little like ecosystem for the mice, and and uh, you know, all those good things. So let me get to the price of what I paid for this thing. Um, when all said and done, this thing was close to uh, not quite $7,000. Now I know on Amazon it says $5,000. There's these extra, extra fees and there's shipping and all this stuff and it, almost $7,000. That, that's, that's a lot of money. I bought some cheap things on Amazon and they were pre, they were not that bad, but they were also like 1,200 bucks, you know, 1,500 bucks. That's, that's cheaper than any Japanese or domestic thing that you could possibly buy. At $7,000, that's not even, that's not even cheap. Whoa. All right, check it out. Check out this side. And you're gonna notice one very important thing that this bike is rocking. And that is, this one's got exhaust. So it's not gonna sound like this. Note number two that I'm noticing. There is no possible way that you can legally put your turn signals that low on the motorcycle. There's no, there's just no way. For, first of all, that's gonna get, when you turn the tire like three degrees, this gets blocked. So you can't even see that. There's, there's I, I know I don't like them, but we have rules and regulations about motorcycles and where controls and where lights and especially lighting, where lighting has to be. And I'm pretty sure you can't have it down there, which this model has been out for a long time, at least a couple of years, zero, 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 nine. This, the, this is number nine of all the, okay, I don't know if I told you, this is called a Naha, Naja, Naha or Naja. A friend of mine told me that that means Cobra. I think that was from the Philippines. I don't know if that's true or not. So this is number nine. Possibly number one that they've ever sold. Maybe there's eight, I don't, I don't know. Next step, let's get this cage off of here. The big question is, what's inside this box? Mm -hmm. So as I started unbolting the cage, I started to think about all the other amazing things that I could have bought for $7,000 or less, like this, or this, or even this, or even all the bikes that I bought at the auction a couple weeks ago in this video. And then I started to get a little concerned because there's no dealerships around me, around me that, that, will, that are there to back up this bike. What if it doesn't work? What if I can never get it running? Then I might be forced to throw a Harley Davidson Evo motor in it with a kickstart inside of this bike and make it amazing. On second thought, that might be a great idea. Maybe I should do that anyway. First, let's see if this thing runs. So first rule, don't throw away all the hardware that you pulled out from the box because sometimes they need this to finish putting the bike together. Also, I'm really excited to hear what this thing sounds like because we, ne we never heard what that one is supposed to sound like. I mean, it's a pretty aggressive looking exhaust. Maybe this is some, they may, maybe they got some muffle stuff in here, but it's pretty wild looking. Oh, here we go. There is another, um, a different number stamped on the engine. Completely different number, 2V49. Not sure what that number means. And then down here, Brand Zeths. I don't recall buying anything from Zeths. Zeths, Zeths. Now, from, from what I'm seeing right now, I mean, it's not, it's not awful looking. You know, the quality is not the worst. I mean, it's no, uh, it's no Honda. But it's not, it's not that, I mean, that's very plastic. It's very plastic. We're missing a bolt right there. Okay, look, there's a, there's a spot for a bolt to go into. I, there's not a spot for it to connect to anything on the other side, that's funny. So the chopper phase is kind of fizzled out. However, recently another YouTuber bought an Orange County chopper. Now he bought an Orange County chopper for $10,000 and that, you know, the video did pretty well and I was like, well, maybe I can ride, maybe I can ride on that guy's coattails and I'll buy the most expensive one. He bought the cheapest Orange County chopper bike out there. I'll buy the most expensive one on Amazon. Maybe someday we'll get to compare them. Look at that, man, that's nice. That's not bad looking. 
And, and look, check this out. These springs, they actually, they actually do something. Like they're actually put in a way that it's actually functional. Unlike, unlike this bike, where I feel like we have to explain to the engineers what a spring actually does, because this doesn't do anything. Like there's no spring flex on this bike. So I'm excited about this one. Like you, got, you got some, uh, you got a little bit of cushion on it. So you have a little bit of suspension right here, but you also have little, little struts down here. You see them? And, and this is actually disconnected from here. So, oh, so there's gonna be movement inside where this piece of the frame and this piece of the frame and the swing arm will actually move and flex. That's kinda, that's kinda cool. All right, let's get this thing, let's get this thing off of here. I got this guy, I got this little piece of foam holding down the brake lever. <laughs> I'm reminded why I hate <laughs> chopper. And this is a, I don't know what they call this, this is a certain sect design of chopper where everything is extremely and uniquely awful. I just, just, maybe these bars go up. Maybe, okay, maybe the bars go up. Some guys like these bars and they're like, I'm not kidding, they're like, they're like this and this is how they want to ride their bike. That's so bad. Yeah, if you look at how the brake and the clutch are, they can't, they either you gotta turn these things down or you gotta turn the bar up. You probably gotta turn the bar up. Um, pull that guy off. Get off. Ah, oh, he's not awful. Honestly, it's kind of a cool looking bike. Let's uh let's turn this thing around. Okay, there's no way that this is how they're supposed to have the handlebars because they they hit the tank and they crush your fingers inside the tank. Um Let's get the handlebar straightened out. I'm guessing what's in here is, um, well, I'm gonna keep that to myself. You guys guess, go write it down. Write it down on a piece of paper. Mail it to me if you guessed it right. Yes, mirrors. All things being considered, this bike is pretty put together. Like I've put together children's like razors that were more, I had to do more. I don't think they know what dot actually means. I think they just throw it on stuff. The amount of money I paid for this bike, for the quality that everything else kind of is, I mean, it is at a, it's not, it doesn't look like total junk. You know, this the speedometer, the gauge looks pretty good, the grips, the tank, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not bad looking. It doesn't look awful. Why are these buttons the, the worst possible? Like this is a cheap, this is like a, this is like a, a point zero 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 two cent switch right here, guaranteed to break. And these stupid little things are just guaranteed to fall off like the second you, you use it once. I, I, I don't get it. That smells so bad. I don't know what that is, it smells like a, like a tire vomited or something like that. Let's take a look at the listing for it. M Massimo Motors, Naha the Modern High Boy Motorcycle, 62 miles an hour, that's pretty interesting. Two cylinder, nine reviews. Let's click on the reviews. This one just says, no, <laughs> but he gave it two stars. That's very nice of him. This one just says, very interesting. It's, it also, this guy makes a point. It's like none of these are actually certified reviews saying that anyone actually bought the bike from here. This guy gave it a four-star review better than any stupid Harley. That's, that's pretty bold. This guy gave it a six, a five-star review and says, just buy a used bike. Warning, do not buy. I've taken mine to four different shops. Only after two months, I've been, I've written Massimo and Voger Motors but neither have responded. This guy is kind of annoyed. And then a bunch of one-star, a bunch of one-star reviews. No way, decent bike. 
which actually brings me back to the name, Naja or Naha. What does it actually mean? Some people, they say it means cobra. I don't know. I do know in Bosnian, Naha is translated as the best. That's a pretty good, if you were gonna name a bike, naming it the best is not an awful idea. In Romanian, it just means no. <laughs> no, I, I, I kinda like that idea, it's, it's a warning. It's like how, you know, like uh, in the wild, God put, God made, you know, creatures you shouldn't eat, like bright colors, no. In German, it means, oh well, which is, yeah, this is a kind of very, oh well bike. But the best one is Azerbaijani. And in the Azerbaijani language, which we all know and love, Naha or Naja means poo. I don't know, you be the judge. So I think as, as of now, I think all we gotta do is just uh, throw the battery in here, throw some gas in here, and we're ready to fire this thing up. And I'm excited to see how this thing runs. I don't know why you would need this because there's no, there's no spot for a girl to sit back here. So what's the actual, I guess you, you stack up your luggage. That's the thing, you stack up your luggage, strap it on here, have the big old, you know, think of like the military, that cylinder military bag, you know what I mean? Strap it right there, That's, that makes sense. All right, let's, uh, let's check the battery, 88%. You know, you know what my rule is. 90% is 100%, which means 88% is 98%. Let's do it. I would think the battery goes right here. Dumb, dumb, dumb place. No, there's no way. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, but that didn't help. Okay, but hold on. Look, look. There's a hole right here. That's where the wires would go into. So I bet you if we take. Oh, manufactured. It tells you when it's manufactured. Oh, I like them apples. Look at that. Manufactured 0222. So this thing is two years old. Almost exactly two years old. And being sold like a brand new thing. So as far as I can tell, I did not see a single instruction manual anywhere. Bam, there we go. The positive and negative terminals. So when this guy goes back. It's like somehow they, it's like somehow they made a motorcycle where every individual, where every single piece was an afterthought. Like, like what part was the original thought? You know what I mean? <laughs> now the, the thing doesn't fit. <laughs> what? Maybe if I, I squish this down, I squish this thing down. So unless the battery goes down more than that, which it doesn't, um, this lid just does not fit. All right, we'll just stick it in without it. So there's stuff about this frame that I'm wondering, like, what was, what, what were they thinking? Like, what's, what's going on here? Like right here, you have two pegs right here, two uh, like bolt holes right there. Was that for like mid, mid controls? Were they, were they coming out with aftermarket parts for this bike to put mid controls on it, which is not an awful idea? but it's kind of a tough place with that, with that exhaust. Um, was this frame used for another bike? Like, what, what's the deal with that? Hmm. Like we're ready, there's just one, there's just one thing. We got this really good looking bike, a little dusty. Anytime I wanna make my bike look clean, I'm one moto fast detailer. Check it, check it out. This is my new Honda Rune. Uh, covered in dust, looks awful. Cool thing about this stuff is you can spray it on anything. You can spray it on chrome, plastic chrome, fake chrome, paint. Which all, this bike is made up of all that stuff. Wipe it all down, keep your bike clean in between washes. Look at that. It's actually my product. Uh, we launched this product about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. A lot of people really love it. 
Um, you buy it on uh, bikesandbeardsgear.com or also uh, Amazon. So check it out. I'll, I'll finish detailing the bike later. What's surprising about these bikes is every once in a while there's a, there's a component on there. You're like, wow, it's a really nice piece. I think this is a really nice feeling gas cap. All right, so we got fuel in it. The question is, how many cranks is it going to be before uh, it fires up? It would be nice. Well, actually, we don't know if it does anything, actually. Um, it'd be nice if it had a kickstart. That'd be really cool. Turn the key. Right, let's see if it lights up. Bam! All right, the key lights up. You hear that? That's the fuel tank cycling on. The turn signal is on. I think this is the start button right here. Let's uh, put the kickstand up. We are in neutral. All right, all right, so before, before I fire this thing up, let me tell you the one possible reason why I think you should buy this bike. You're stranded on a desert island. No one can find you. Order this. Order this bike. Amazon will find you. And then leave with the Amazon shipment guy. Just throw it out there. They can get this thing anywhere. They can save you from your desert island. Let's fire this thing up. All right, so it's telling me we have zero gas, which I don't think that's true because I just put some gas in it. <coughs> that's, that's not a bad sounding bike. That's not that bad. That's not. In the next video, we're taking this thing for a spin. I'm gonna tell you guys what it runs like. We'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to check this next video right up here.